This is a preventable disease. We know it's an environmental exposure. And these are kids who will never pay taxes. They'll never hold a job. They'll never go out on a date. Many of them will never use a toilet unassisted. The autism is such a tremendous horror show, what's happening in our country. How are you doing on that? We are doing very well. We will have announcements as promised in September. <laughs> RFK Jr. is back in the headlines again, recycling the claim that Tylenol or acetaminophen use during pregnancy is linked to autism and now also folate deficiency supposedly causes autism. Sounds like the neat smoking gun everyone's been waiting for, right? Especially since he promised a reason for autism by September and the clock is ticking. So now he's just grabbing straws at whatever loose association he can find. Except autism doesn't have a single cause and what we do know of it, largely genetic. Yep, it's true, have an autistic kid Someone providing genetic material to that kid probably is too. This goes way beyond Andrew Wakefield and Jenny McCarthy's autism vaccine panic in the early 2000s. We're still here, decades later, grasping for the next headline. Vaccines, Tylenol, folate, you name it. And have you ever asked yourself why autism? Why not ADHD, Tourette's, sensory processing differences, or cerebral palsy? Why are they creating such fear around autism. Because autism pushes against the narrow box of what we as society call normal. It challenges ideas of how kids and adults should talk, socialize, and learn. That very disruption makes it a lightning rod for bigger cultural anxieties, control, mistrust of institutions like modern medicine, and discomfort with difference. Autism is sitting at this cultural crossroad visible enough to provoke fear, but still misunderstood enough to invite conspiracy. And look who's getting blamed now, women. Pregnant women, Tylenol in pregnancy, folate deficiency in pregnancy. The message is clear to these misinformed people. If your child is autistic, it's what you did, the mom. Take the pill, Tylenol, and risk autism or suffer in pain because there's no safe option. Meanwhile, the strongest evidence shows that autism is mostly genetic and paternal factors like advanced paternal age matter too. So are we going to test sperm for autism risk? Of course not because this was never about autism. It's about exploiting parental fear, and now with blaming actions in pregnancy, it's about policing women's choices and putting the onus on them, just like society always wants to do. Blame women for autism, but don't trust them to make choices about their own pregnancies. The irony is writing itself. This isn't even about autism anymore. The obsession with what causes autism tells us less about autism and more about our culture, a culture that fears difference, mistrust neurodivergence, and still sees neurodivergence as something to fix instead of someone to include. So what are they really afraid of? Autism itself or the fact that they still can't handle people who think, feel, and experience the world differently than them?